The Texas State Senate has passed its version of a major election bill, but it can't go anywhere until House Democrats return to the state. More than 50 Texas House Democrats fled to D.C. Monday to stop the vote on a new elections bill from happening. While in Washington, they are calling on Congress to pass federal voting rights protections. The election bills under consideration in the state would eliminate drive through and 24-hour early voting and add ID requirements for vote by mail, among other things. So I want to bring in Michelle Beckley. She's a Democratic member of the Texas House of Representatives from District 65. Representative Beckley, welcome. It's great to have you with us. First off, what is your reaction to this election bill passed by the Texas Senate? Um, you know, I, we, we knew that was going to happen. They have, they did not break quorum. The senators didn't break quorum. Nine, nine senators have joined us here in Washington to help um, talk to the Congress and Senate um, about what exactly is going on in Texas and what the details are of the elections bill and why we felt the need to bring it to the national stage. So the Texas House, which, of course, as you know, is Republican-led, has now ordered law enforcement to come and retrieve you and your fellow Democrats. And Governor Greg Abbott has also threatened to arrest you and the other Democrats. Uh, what's your response to, to that, first of all? Are you worried at all about it? And what will it take for you to go back to Texas? So... He First of all, the governor cannot arrest us here in Washington, D.C., and all they can do is bring us back to the state house, and it's through the um, Speaker of the House. So the governor is incorrect in his statements there. Uh, I mean, we're just here fighting for our national right to vote, and we are going to continue to do everything, use every tool in our toolbox to keep to make sure that Texans and nationwide, that these voter, um, the freedom to vote is good for everybody in this in the United States. And so is your plan at this point to stay in D.C. indefinitely? Um, well, we right now we're going to stay until the end of session, which will be August 7th. And then hopefully we can have a national solution that will help Texans. Um, and these these are a national this is a national voter suppression uh, targeted that is going on. It's just Probably Texas already has a hard, it's harder to vote in Texas than it is in most other states. And so ours is just another level of a form of taking away your freedom to vote. Well, to your point, we heard the president yesterday slam Republican efforts to impose restrictions on voting and strongly urge Congress to pass the For the People Act and the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. What is your message to Congress about these pieces of legislation? My message is that that we need your help. We are here doing everything we can. We are. We went had meetings today. We are doing what our constituents do when they come and visit us. We, I am now the voice of all the people who elected me, and that is why I'm in Washington. I'm here. Um, I was on the elections committee, so I know a lot of the details, and I'm sharing that with other members of Congress to know the details and know exactly what's going on, not just some vague something that they've heard on the media bit. But we need details, and we do love the details. And so we're here sharing the details so that they know what's going on in Texas and on a national level as well. Right. As you point out, obviously, it's not just an issue in Texas. The Brennan Center is reporting 17 states have enacted laws yeah. to restrict access to voting in one way or another by June 21st of this year. What do you make of this overall, and why do you think this is happening now? I think it's all based on the supply, and that um, it's just a distraction on what we need to do. And first of all, in Texas, we have a lot bigger problems, like our grid is not working. And so I do think we need to look at that. And this is just – right now – it's Governor Abbott's red meat for his own election. And that's all this is. And it is a waste of taxpayer dollars. And we just need a national solution. And fortunately, I would love to be in Austin. I would love to be in my hometown of Carrollton taking care of my business. But I don't have any other choice. This is what my constituents elected me to do. And I am using everything that I can to do that. Texas State Representative Michelle Beckley, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.